Hi, this is Don D, and you find me on my website dond-wp.com. And what we're going to be looking at today in this tutorial is uh, the scroller and date and time sliders in WebPlus X6. Uh, you'll find these on the uh, bottom of this page here. I've got the scroller slider here, and then the date and time slider at the bottom. So I'll show you how to set these up. Uh, the date and time is on master page because it shows on every page of the site. Right, if I go to objects, because you can see here I've got a number of slider panels on this page. So if I select that, that's the the main one. So we can go through them. This is, as you can see here, panel one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you got the foreground. So there are all the sliders, uh, all the panels in this slider. And what you do, if we go to edit, as it is, there is a picture on every every panel. But there's, I, just for this demonstration, I've just put um, two pictures alternate. That's all. So what I've done here is you got the six panels and if I click the first panel I know it says panel 2 but it's, it's the first panel um, I've got a uh, I've got a date on this one set at the bottom of the 14th of the 4th at 9 o'clock 15th of the 4th 9 o'clock so that's day 1 and then second panel that changes to 15th, opens up at the six, at 15th on the nine, at 9 o'clock and finishes on the 16th at 9. And you'll go through all these and they're all set for the day after each other. So what will happen is uh, on day one at the time set, this one will open and then it will close at the same time as this one will will show and so on all the way down the line now if for instance you don't want anything to show before the before the, um, the start of the first panel then what you got to do is to add a panel and then put it as panel number one because what always happens is say this one starts on the 14th and this last one finishes at 9 o'clock on the 20th now before that start date and after that end date and time uh, you have number one panel shown so if you don't want anything to show, then have it blank. And then um, if you want something, anything rather than these other things that you want to show at certain times of the, uh, of the period, then you can put something on that panel and then that will show before the date, date and time ones start that you want to show and after. I hope that explains it. Um, Say so very, very, uh, you could test it, um, but I won't test it here because it's, it takes a lot of time. Um, so if you set, try and set that up, do the date and time, select, select the panel, and put a date and time to start and to finish, and go all the way along. 
so that's that one now if we go back to the home page this is the scroller slider and we'll have to find this in the objects tab if we can find it it's always pretty difficult there's you can see by these here because they're the there we are tell by the little picture in the, in the thumbnail what it is so that's that should have selected all the uh, the scroller slider if I click through it it should go through that's foreground that's panel one panel two panel three panel four foreground go to edit slider right so I've set the panels up with all the texts that I want to show. Here we are, one, two, three, four, in the sequence that you want it to scroll through. Um, there's no other settings you can do here. Uh, you click on the, the panel, but the date and time isn't active, so you can't set it. You can set the panel color uh, if you like. So in the options tab this gives you a preview of what it's like. Now I've set this up to auto play and stop play when next and previous buttons clicked. I have got next and previous buttons on the side and I'll show you how those work uh, later. And then I've set this as a 8,000 uh, millisecond changeover which is 8 seconds so it scrolls stops for 8 seconds and then scrolls to the next one now as you can see I've got four rows and one column and this is scrolling from bottom to top now if I bring this down to to one one and one you'll see that it is now changed from top to bottom it's coming in from the right to the left so if you have a, a, a play around with this it gives you some idea of what it's like and when it comes to number four it scrolls all the way back and then starts again so if I for instance went to two rows we'll see what happens here right it should change in a second right it's moved from right to left again and then what happens it still scrolls from right to left and now I've had it I've had it where it's um, it's had two as it says here two rows and it's sort of gone back and then gone down it's it, it was it was weird how it how it looked so if you try that out and see what uh, what how you get it to to look like okay that out right if I s go in a bit closer you can see here um, we're on the foreground so these buttons are showing on this slider all the time and what you can do if I select that button and this one 
as this indicates it's a pause and play and we click actions and this one is set to play and pause and you get that by clicking add slider and then you've got pause and play you would click that and then you can choose the the correct slider that it's going to be used on or if it's um, if the button is close to a slider it'll pick that the closest slider up to to work to work on I think I would prefer myself to to choose the correct slider just in case so that's that one and then you've got these two up and downs same sort of thing and this one is set to previous slider and then you got play pause previous next and so on or you can go to the um, the panel you want to go to so you could have a, a row of um, small uh, circle colored circles and you can have those set up to go to get action to go to panel one two three four five six and so on but for this scroller type you just want it to move on its own and delete that don't want that so that's how you set those up so when you preview it it'll start at the slider that you you set in the settings to start on. and it will scroll through the your sequence but with these uh, button controls to one side if someone wants to say oh I didn't didn't read that I've got to wait for it to come round again they can stop it and then take it forward and back and in their own time they can uh, read or just look at whatever you're you're showing here's safari it's a bit slow but there we go right there's the scroller there and I can click that it, and then I can scroll back forwards forwards play again so there you are that's those those two slider types uh, have a play with them and see what uh, you can find um, and how they look if you have any problems just let me know via my website and I'll help you uh, if I can okay that's all for now thank you very much goodbye